Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Jeff Grudan. And in front of us, we've got a, uh, a thin client, uh, right. T620, which was just announced at the show. And that kind of ties into uh, thinking a little bit about the, the kinds of challenges that, that remote working presents for, for both enterprises and IT managers. And can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. So uh, I think there's all kinds of different remote working models. There's branch offices, there's telecommuters, and probably the most challenging of all is BYOD. And all of these, I think, give IT you know, challenges around how do I uh, secure access to the network? How do I secure our data and our kind of corporate assets? How do I back up what's going on on all those endpoints? How do I manage them? How do I support them? So you know, a lot of a lot of challenges uh, that this uh, this brings to this you know the, these uh, these type of managers. So so how does a, a thin client fit into that kind of a scenario? Well, thin clients generally aren't a BYOD device, but they really cover all of the other uh, aspects of any kind of corporate procured uh, endpoint. <clears throat> By their very nature, there's no data locally. So you don't have to worry about securing data. You don't have to worry about backing data up because it's already in architecturally back in the cloud. Um, but their thin clients are very reliable. There's no moving parts. They're solid state. There's no fans. There's very low power. So the, the failure rates on thin clients are incredibly low, uh, which means you can put them in branch offices, telecommuter sites, and not have to worry too much about what that support overhead's going to look like. Uh, they're also designed to be centrally managed. So one IT manager with uh, our device manager software uh, console can literally manage tens of thousands of thin clients from his desk. So they're very efficient to manage, they're very reliable, and they're very secure. And so does, this supports like whatever hypervisor you choose to, to use in your uh, enterprise? Yeah, so this, uh, all of our thin clients are built to support Citrix environments, VMware environments, Microsoft environments, or more web, HTML5 oriented environments, and you know, we'll support all of those and give a really great end user experience. So, so more specifically uh, about thin clients then, is uh, what, what kind of uh, thin clients are we seeing from, from HP? This is obviously the new one that was announced, but can you talk a little bit more uh, generally just about the, the thin client solution that HP offers? Sure, so for first from a portfolio perspective, you know, we, we offer different models that cover uh, from task worker based characteristics that are very simple, maybe one application, think, uh, you know, think maybe a warehousing piece of software, up to a full desktop replacement, which is what the T620 is designed for, which is really around virtual desktops and giving knowledge workers uh, a, a full desktop experience at, you know, at the desk, but a thin one. All the way up to uh, our T820 model, which was announced a couple of months ago, targeted at true power user, workstation users, that need to really this is the ultimate in performance. Uh, so we, we cover all those kind of performance uh, vectors as well as uh, from zero clients, which have literally nothing to manage locally, to our flexible devices, which the T T620 is a flexible thin client that can support multiple operating systems, including Windows Embedded, um, to mobile devices for people with mobile thin clienting requirements. So, uh, you're saying this is not necessarily the top end because you, you have a, a, a even higher end than this, but I, I'm looking at the uh, the ports on the back of here, and I mean, you've got, uh, there's multiple display ports, is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, so the, the T, again, the, because the T620 is designed for knowledge workers, uh, if you think about a, a, a knowledge worker with a PC today, they may well have two, two displays, they could have even four displays. So the T620 is really designed uh, to give them uh, that, that really high-end experience. So this, this will actually support both dual-core and even a quad-core uh, CPU, with, with all without a fan, uh, uh, as well as you know, this model with two displays, and there's a plus model of this that I didn't bring that would make it a little bit bigger, a little wider, but you, that you could then add a PCI slot and add a graphics card, um, you know, and other expansion options like that. So really, the, the, the goal of this product is to cover any of the needs uh, that are being met by a PC today. So, so then uh, a thin client then doesn't have to mean that you're actually compromising on uh, the hardware functionality that, that a desktop might need. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a great point. It's really a, you know, I think a, 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 a holdover from the days of green screen terminals where, yeah, a thin device, you must have a worse experience. And I think today's thin clients and the, the architectures we put together with our uh, our, inf our HP based infrastructure and our, and our partners like Citrix and VMware and Microsoft, you really can get now uh, a virtual remote experience that is 
completely without trade-off from using a local desktop. And in fact, there are advantages uh, because you don't have to worry about backing up your data anymore. Uh, the comp corporate does that for you. Uh, you can access your data from anywhere. So if you're, you're not at the office with your thin client, you're, uh, uh, you're at somebody else's office, you're, you're with a laptop, you're with a tablet, uh, the, the ISVs and HP give you uh, portals into all of your data and all your apps from wherever you are. So you're really uh, not tied to that desktop paradigm where everything's at my desk and if I leave my desk, it's gone. Which is, uh, which is actually kind of a, an exciting change in a way because um, as we look at more and more stuff being stored in the cloud, uh, being able to get it no matter where you are, no matter where you want to work, is, is really kind of the ideal. Yeah, that's really the, the world we're in today. And in some ways, um, if you're familiar with a big XP migration that's, that's having to happen right now, we think there's a, this is a great point in time to consider client virtualization and thin clients versus just moving to the next uh, Windows operating system locally. Because not only uh, do you get some of the benefits I just talked about around thin computing, but once you've got that infrastructure in place to support the thin clients, that same infrastructure and that same investment can be used to support your BYOD devices and give those, whether it's an Apple device, an Android device, uh, an HP consumer device, you can then give them access to their corporate assets in a secure way, all for the same investment that you're using to deploy you know, on-site. Excellent. Well, thanks, Jeff. Okay, thank you.